Hi everyone, today is Wednesday, April the 6th. I wanted to play it forward before I start the video and I want to give a shout out to How Jen Does It, Alexandra TV, My So Called Home, Do It On A Dime, and I'm trying to think of someone else. I can't think of it's somebody else, but I can't think of it. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about the importance of becoming organized and what happened I started my journey in I want to say October of 2015 I call it a journey because it's important for me to document the change and the transformation that's going on within me and that's going on around me because it's some off phenomenal things that's going on with me you guys I mean it's just a blessing about how the um, YouTube channels I described to you um, in the beginning of the video of how they really really have blessed and helped me to get through this so typically what happened was I was going through I guess I was in a I was in a very very great place sort of speak and I mean it like physically and mentally I wasn't too happy or I wasn't very grateful with um, my living situation so one day I just decided like what can I do to show my gratitude to my creator and be even happy about it? So I just slowly but surely started removing a lot of unnecessary things in my life. And I'm not just talking about items. I'm talking about not only things, but people, a lot of things that I would listen to. A lot of things that I would read, a lot of stuff that didn't seem to have any substance or that couldn't help me or that wasn't really, it's kind of like it was things that I was holding on to, but it had no, it didn't have no divine purpose, if that makes any sense. So once I started decluttering things and removing certain people out of my life, slowly but surely, I started falling in love with my living space. I started falling in love with my responsibilities at my job. I started seeing things a whole lot differently. It's like once you declutter and start getting organized and giving everything in your home, everything in your house or home and, you know, getting organized at your job, you mentally, it, it really does change you. It's not about becoming OCD or it's not about becoming, or oh, shout out to her too, OCD much. I love her. Please check out her channel. She was, I knew it was somebody else and she was that person. OCD much, play it forward. So it's not about that. It's really about um, self-therapy. And it really allows you to, it kind of like opened up your eyes. You can even think clear when you're living in an organized space or, you know, you have a maintained or you're trying to maintain your home and maintain your office space because then you start to want to just take care of yourself even more. So when I started, you know, um, decluttering and removing things it just seems like slowly but surely that is when order came into my life and I was able to I've always been like a planner type person like I like to plan and you know write out the write out a schedule but it was never to the point to where I am now like I have a great um home management schedule I have a great weekly schedule I have a a nightly and morning routine schedule and not only in my home but at my job you know where I work so it's like now I really look forward to going to work if that makes any sense I really look forward to coming home to my space and it makes me feel so good as a better person so I just wanted to let you know a little bit about when my journey started what was the influence on my journey? And I just want to encourage you to just start off with something small. Because once you start really decluttering some space, and it could be anything. You could do, you know, you can declutter some emails in your junk, you know, your some old emails. Um, you know, your junk emails. Declutter that. 
you know, it's taking up a lot of space, you know, or you can simply, you know, just start off with a corner in your room or a corner in your, you know, a corner in your kitchen. Just start off with something really, really small. And I promise you, once you start and you really enjoy it, don't do it if you don't, don't be it, don't do it because you know it needs to be done. You do it because you really want to do it. And when you do it, you want to enjoy doing it. You know, so that is just my um, advice to you guys. And I hope it helps you out a whole lot. I will be showing you um, some of my order management that I've developed in my home. I won't be able to show you um, anything at my job because cause I work there. But um, I just want to know, let's just go through the first process. And the first process is just simply declutter some things and I'm not just talking about you know items and clothing and stuff but declutter also some things that's going on in your life that you know are not giving you a clear vision or you don't have a clear aspect or they're not adding any value to your life it's time for you to declutter those things remove those things those people or whatever it could be it's time to just try to work on it don't try and do it cold turkey but just take your time do it slow. Be truthful with yourself because the whole thing about the decluttering process, I promise you, it is very, very emotional because there are a lot of things that I had to remove, such as items and some of those things I didn't use. And some of those things were bad memories, sad memories. And some of them I just didn't need in my home anymore. So just know that. Take your time. Be truthful with yourself. And I promise you, once you're through with the process, you're going to feel so much better. You're going to feel a whole lot better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, um, please subscribe to my channel. And always remember that, you know, anything is possible. And getting yourself in order first. I promise you in the end, you're going to see things so much. Your life is really going to change. My life has really, really changed. But I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Blessings and miracle, people.